So guys, today we got Pundit Picks Rodrigo De Paul, of course, from Atletico Madrid and La Liga. And a lot of people are looking at this card and they're thinking, mm, it's quite meh. I understand what you're saying. First of all, though, if you've got Messi, you need to do this card because it means that Messi's never going to get tackled and you've got Messi's bodyguard on the pitch with him. Guys, if you're enjoying the content as well, leave a like on today's video. Let me know that you are enjoying it. But this card is very expensive. 87, 86 and 84 rated squads with an inform in the 84. He does have press proven plus, not press proven. That is relentless plus, I mean. Four star, four star, high, high, five foot 11, controlled, accelerate type. And of course, people loved his road to the knockout. So there is a bit of love for this card and he's high rated and he does look quite good. In terms of play styles, he's got incisive pass. He's got long ball pass. He's got bruiser press proven technical, which is good for a box to box midfielder. And of course, that juicy, relentless plus. Can only play centre mid and CDM. And Argentina don't have the best midfielders on the game off the top of my head. So this is actually quite a nice card to pick up in terms of Argentinian links. His in-games are actually very solid as well. He's got a good pace split, 86 acceleration and 82 sprint speed is nice. He's got very good shooting across the board with 86 attack positioning, 84 finishing, 88 shot power and 86 long shots. Volleys and penalties really don't matter on this game, so you don't really care about that too much. Passing is incredible on this card. Actually incredible. 93 vision, 92 short pass and 92 long pass with 91 curve. Great passing stats. Also very good dribbling wise as well. With 85 for both agility and balance. 88 reactions, 92 ball control, 89 dribbling and 88 composure. Is very nice there. Defensively, extremely solid as well with 86 interceptions. He's got also 79 defensive awareness. 89 stand tackle, 82 slide tackle, as well as a very strong physicals. 84 jumping, 98 stamina with relentless plus, 84 strength and 88 aggression. Chem styles for this card are kind of sky's the limit. If you want to go for a hunter, you can. If you want to go for a shadow, you can. If you want to go for an anchor, you can. If you want to go for a catalyst or an engine or something like that, you certainly could as well. I'm a big fan of the basic, though. I think the basic is very good for him. 90 attack position and 92 shot power. A little boost to the volleys and penalties there as well. Really good boost to his passing, though. 97 vision, 96 for both short pass and long pass, and 95 curve. Goes up to 89 agility, 96 ball control, 93 dribbling, 83 defensive awareness, 93 stand tackle, and also gets 88 strength to kind of couple that aggression as well. So very, very good stats on this card especially with the basic applied i think he's good on get forward i'm gonna play him as the right center mid in the 4 3 2 1 let's get into a few games and see what he can do if you need cheap fast and reliable fc24 coins make sure to go to mmoexp.com and use my code viper to get five percent off your order okay then guys here we go and you're gonna also notice as well i should have mentioned this at the start that it's a bit darker on the face cam the reason for that is i'm having a few issues with the ring light i do apologize i'm gonna have to go buy a new one i think but here we go. First game with Rodrigo De Paul. Or is it De Pau? I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Rodrigo De Pau. Regardless, though, let's get into this game and let's see what he can do. Messi's bodyguard now. And we've got him. And, you know, as I said at the start of the video, everybody loved his road to the knockout. So I'm kind of keeping my fingers crossed that this is going to be quite a good card in game. Now we're in Division Rivals. I'm in Division 1 as well. So the games are going to be sweaty. First touch is for De Paul here. Nice little pass there into Neto. We're going to go back into the ball as well. A bit of time on the ball here. A bit of technical dribbling. Very, very nice. And good strength there as well. That's nice from the ball. That's a really, really well-worked goal. Into Agent Madani there. Dina Mbibe, who's an absolutely brilliant card. And you guys have shown some crazy love on that video too. Oh, trying to get that ball through there. Of course as well, guys. One of the things that's really good about Relentless Plus, even though you won't really feel it too much, is the second man press stuff. Oh my days. I mean, it's one of them cards already that I can tell you that because he's got... Is that him sitting there? There it is. Oh, because he's got technical and is a box-to-box -box midfielder, they're quite unique because they don't come around a lot. And when they do, you've kind of got to appreciate it. I mean, we, we that was so poor for me there, wasn't it? it was so poor. We've got Frank Rijkaard still in the team as well, his loan card. Here is Depot again. I really like his technical, guys. Because he's quite strong as well. Because he's strong, it feels really nice, his technical. And, you know, technical, if you use it a lot, 
deplete stamina quite a lot from my understanding. And because, of course, this card's got Relentless Plus, you probably won't feel an impact on that too much. Of course, you want to see what he's like defensively as well. But it's going to be more about his physicals and the way he can drive forward, in my opinion. Um, you know, he doesn't have ping pass, which is a bit annoying for a card like this. Nice. This is a good play. Here's the pull again. Nice turn. Oh, my God. That is really unlucky. Oh, dear. Oh, he, he didn't have the pace there. So, maybe a shadow based on that there because, you know, he, he just did not have the pace to get back. Not necessarily that a shadow would fix that, though. Nice running, man. I, I actually do think this is a decent card as well, you know. He's a bit expensive, but EA price cards expensive when they know they're going to be good. And this card does feel good. Nice pass into Okafor. Oh, good defending. I think he's got right card as well. We've got another chance here to test out his Travellers. You know, Travellers have been nerfed as of late. But they're still actually quite good. A bit unlucky that that was a decent Traveller. Now, I don't know. Oof. Unlucky. I'm, I'm trying to do too much with him. Because I actually do quite like his dribbling. Is he? He's not offside, is he? Go on, Davies. Catch up, catch up, catch up. Oh, my God. Look at that. That's incredible. And that's why you want Alfonso. You don't need to care about defending when they can do that. That is mental. It's absolutely mad what's just happened there. Haven't seen much from him defensively yet, guys. As I said, I don't I don't necessarily think he's the best defensive option. He will be okay because of Relentless. Um, but this, this card is more of a get forward central midfield, especially with that, that technical, you know. He is again on the ball. Yeah, and technical does deplete stamina, but because he's got Relentless plus... Shouldn't really matter too much. That's a lovely ball. Oh, that's nice. Oh, we got Jammy. Oh, how have we not scored there? Go on, pull. He's down the byline again. Nice. Nice dribbling. Oh, that's unlucky, isn't it? It's a little bit unlucky there not to get through. Nice from Bruno. Okay, guys, we played 27 minutes in this game. And I've been impressed. I have been impressed. You know, he's not going to set the world alight. But... I feel like on an RTG, you know, I've just started a brand new RTG for my second channel. I feel like a card like this is very, very welcome into that kind of um, RTG kind of setup. Because, you know, a card like this doesn't come around too often. The play styles he's got, even though he's only got one plus, he's got very good play styles outside of the Relentless plus that he's got. Um, so I don't necessarily think this is a card that should be like looked at and, and frowned upon. I don't think. Nice, Edwin. Never mind. Right. Okay. We're going to highlights now after that. Here is the pool. Find that. Nice pass into Neto. Neto. Oh, unlucky again. The only thing I will say about this card, guys, that I'm not the biggest fan of is, is no ping pass. Or like any... Oh. Unlucky. Like any like seriously good advancing passing play styles. You know, incisive pass is okay, but at the same time, I think it's quite overrated, um, especially when it's, you know, silver. I don't think it's too bad as a, as a plus, but generally speaking, I don't think it's the best in the world. That's a nice pass. Bit unlucky there. Neto's just a bit too weak, isn't he? Bit unlucky as well there, guys, not to win the ball back with the, the relentless plus second man press. I thought we were going to get the ball back there, but sadly not. Here he is, though. Wins the ball back. Can find that as well, I hope. He has found that. That was a through ball as well. That was quite an interesting pass, actually. Nice. Here is the pull again. Little one. Oh, he's got to find that. He's got to be able to find that. He's won the ball back, though. It was very nice. Good pass as well into Neto. Awful touch from Neto, though. Nice. Good ball again into Neto. Little one into Okafor. Okafor. <laughs> what a block. What a block. The pull again. Nice touch. Nice turn as well. It's going to go back into the pull here as well. Nice. Really nice play this. Come on. Put it in. Put it in someone. Oh my God. How have we not scored there? Go on then. Oh. Ooh. Back into him. A bit of our one dribbling. Oh wow. Kante's absolutely destroyed the pull there. Nice to pull. That is nice. Find that too. Mmm, terrible pass. He has won it back though. No, he hasn't. Oh, I really thought he was going to win that back there. Nice to pull. Oh my God, how have I not got the ball back there? Because he's got no defensive play styles, guys. 
when he tackles, he doesn't often get the ball back, which is a bit frustrating. Nice pass there, though. We're going to go into Okafor. No, we're not. Good defending from this guy. Nice play again. The pool can find that as well. It's a good pass. And that's where you get the incisive kind of... Where the incisive becomes quite good, I would say. Terrible from me there. But here is the pool again. Really nice R1 dribble in there as well. We're looking for an option. We haven't got one. Now it's formed with Bobby Charlton. Bit unlucky again there, man. Bit unlucky. Here is the pool again. He's got a bit of time. Finds the ball here into Neto. We need a goal. We need a goal. We've absolutely dominated this guy, but we just can't score. Look at that. Find that, please, to pull. Nice ball there into Davies. Have to go backwards. Into Okafor. Oh, man. This guy is really frustrating to play against. We might lose this game, believe it or not. Oh, guys. The more this game's dragging on, the more I don't think this DePaul's very good, to be honest. Find that DePaul. Good pass there. Terrible again from Neto. Maybe DePaul hasn't been as bad as I thought, but like Neto's touches in this game have absolutely sold me a dream. Find that then. That's actually a really nice ball there. We're going to have to go backwards. Neto finds a little pass into Okafor. And we've missed again. Can you actually believe this? Oh, that's nice from DePaul. Go on then, DePaul. Oh, no. He's done everything, man, in this game. He's not been the best, if I'm being honest. Right? But he has had a lot of good passes. And my players are just absolutely bottling it for me. Here he is again. Find that. Nice. Bobby Charlton's got the ball here still somehow. So I'm going to go back into the pool because he's our only option. We go into Okafor. Nice play. It's nice. It's nice. No way. Okay. 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 Nice to pull. That is really nice. Finds Okafor. Oh, nice. Oh, no. Oh, that was really nice as well. Nah, nah. Guys, you're going to see all of this game. I cannot believe that we've lost this one. Absolutely mental. Okay then, guys. Review is in on DePaul. What a crazy game that was. We also played one extra game of him after that as well. What do I think to this card? Nobody is going to use him, are they? If you're new to the game, this is an awesome card. If you're not new to the game and you've been grinding it since the start and you're watching this video, you've probably got Zidane, you've got Hullet, you've got Kimmich, you've got Bruno... Where does this card fit into your team? That is not me saying he's bad, but he's also not spectacular, right? Because he doesn't have two playstyle pluses, because he doesn't have ping pass, because he kind of just is what he is, he's not as good as these cards that I've just mentioned. And, you know, Relentless Plus is nice. He's not very good defensively. You know, his tackles are okay, but generally speaking... He's not that good defensively. He kind of needs a shadow or a hunter or a catalyst as well. He doesn't move as quick as you'd expect. I like his passing. I like his incisive pass. I like his long ball passes. They're very good. I like the fact he's got Bruiser, but Bruiser doesn't really help too much. And then you're left with Press Proven, which is okay on him. Relentless Plus, which is amazing. And Technical is where this card might make the cut in your team if you don't have a Zinedine, 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 Zinedine. I can't stop saying that. Zinedine Zidane, um, you know, it's kind of like if you don't have a technical player in your midfield, then the pool's a great option. And that is where he'll be in your team if, you know, you don't have a technical midfielder. And I love Zidane for his technical, you know, R1 dribble in. The pool's is really good and he can do it constantly as well because he's got relentless plus means he's never going to run out of stamina. You know, technical does deplete stamina. But because he's got Relentless Plus, it doesn't really have an impact on him. I think he's a little bit better than average. I think he's still quite a mid-card. I think he's overpriced. But if you don't have the likes of Zidane, Hullet, um, Bruno, Kimmich, this is a cool card for you, in my opinion. I'm going to rate him a 7.5 out of 10. The value for this one is going to be like a 1 out of 10. He should have just been an 84 and an 85 rated squad. But still, he's okay to play with. Guys, if you haven't enjoyed today's video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel. Turn on the bell to play review. But guys, it's going to be it for me for now. So take care.